really sure how I ended up here. Am I gonna get this? I don't know. Vlogmas. This just gives me anxiety just thinking about it. Um, I'm actually here looking for a pitcher. These look like they're for babies. Why are they so small? Is it just me? You guys, look at this one. It's like super aggressive. It just like is attacking me. Like, look at it. It's like, <sighs> reminds me of like a goose. Previously on SML's vlogs, I was seen with 46 new pumpkins. So the question has been, where are they now? Where are these pumpkins? So, <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of pumpkins and you guys have been asking, what did you do with them? Where are they? So I'm gonna show you guys how I decorated my house, kind of like a little fall home tour, if you will. I'm not gonna show you guys my entire house because there's just some areas of my life that are just complete and total messes that I don't feel like showing on the internet. And yeah, so let's go through. I'm gonna set the mood with a candle. We're gonna get our fire stick. All right, top of the stairs, we have the area to sign up for the pumpkin and apple hayride. Um, you just stand right here <laughs> by the pumpkins. This is the little floral arrangement that I have at the top of my stairs. We come over here, we have my little entryway table, if you will. This is what we have here, that's me. This is just a little setup we have. We have this cute little studded pumpkin, a little candle, another candle, and then I have this little flower arrangement and this just like little uh, milk jar thing. So I just have that there. Then over here we have the pillows that I showed you guys, the thankful beaded pillow and then the leaf beaded pillow. Then up here, I just did a really simple mantelpiece. So these I have like up here all the time. They're just from Hobby Lobby. Then I just have these two pumpkins here. I put some eucalyptus leaf little sprigs that I got from Target just to have it like really simple. I didn't want to like do too much because last year I just had like 85,000 things just like they were gonna fall off at any moment, like if I breathed too heavily, so just kept it simple. So over here on this couch, I just have a few pillows. I got this big old plaid one, this little green one that Des started to eat, so we'll just flip that over, you'll never know. And I got these two. I showed these in my fall decor haul, so definitely check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. But anyways, this is like my little glam beaded pillow, a little furry guy, and then over here, We've got the pop of this teal blanket, which I like, and this pillow. Dude, you guys, this pillow, you need it. It is just so big and soft and just like a big teddy bear. And then I have my leopard one over here. This, um, Rose actually ate this one. She must have been in a bad mood, so we will forgive her. Then over here on my coffee table, I just have like this little setup in this tray, a little white pumpkin. This I actually got from Joann's. This was in my fall haul. This is old, it's from Target though. And then just a few more of these eucalyptus leaves. Now in the dining room, this is my dining room table obviously and this is the little um, tablescape that, that I did. So I have the garland that I showed from Michaels and the peachy pumpkins. I put some random like little pillar candles in here. I had a um, runner but I didn't really love it so I just kind of put it on here just like, you know, straight up raw nothing underneath and i kind of like it so unless i find like a runner i really like i'm just gonna leave it so i think that looks cute um i think i did this last year i just put like a scarf this is actually just a scarf and i just have this little pillow under here then over here on my buffet table this is here all year round it's just kind of like a little drink setup for cocktails that we never make so then over here just a little pile of pumpkins and then this little chalk sign. I think I got this from Target a while ago. And obviously it's not hanging. I'm just kind of resting it here. But I did not write this, FYI. I have no skill when it comes to handwriting. Then over here on my shelves, you know, just picture two glasses. These are in the wash. Um, but we got more pumpkins. We got more signs. Signs and pumpkins. Pumpkins and signs. Eucalyptus leaves. That's all you need, really. Oh, did I just put fingerprints there? Oh my God, I'm such a dirtbag. We actually have a real fall leaf. 
straight from the outdoors. I'll just throw it away. So we have this little mat from Target. Then I got this wreath, which I felt like went really well with my table because like the peachy, like white pumpkins and everything. I'm sorry you can't really see it. The lighting is like terrible, but this is from Joann's. So then over here we have just some alcohol, another pumpkin, another candle. This literally smells amazing. Um, so we have some alcohol over here, just some wine. We got some whiskey. And this is the cutest sign ever because it is so me. I literally just buy wine based on how cute the bottle is. So I found this in a little shop in Lake George and I had to have it. So I just keep it around one of my bottles. And then I just wrapped some eucalyptus uh, garland from Target around there and over here. I have my coffee So in this little pumpkin thing I got from Target I just have my cake cups in there and then obviously my sugar my fake sugar Stevia is in there. Hey, Steve. Then I have this little harvest blessing signs above my stove um, more harvest blessings where I keep all like my vitamins and Advil all that over here We have pumpkins for sale if you want to check them out and then lastly um, just like on my little peninsula here, we have this little setup of pumpkins. Um, this is a cute little sweater one that I have. This jar and these uh, little eucalyptus stems are from Target again. These little pumpkins, I got these at Joann's and they're so cute. They're like this metallic, kind of like a coppery color. I thought they were so cute. And then these little velvet pumpkins, they're from Target, so I got a few. And then this guy is real. This is the real deal. He is an acorn squash. And you're supposed to eat it, but it just looked cute, so I just bought it. So <laughs> that's that. And last but not least, we've got the toilet. You guys definitely wanna see my toilet. I have this little pumpkin, again, from Target. Super cute. Um, another candle. This spray smells amazing, and you definitely need a spray in your bathroom. Like, I don't know if that's weird to say, but you do, and this one smells really good. It's maple sugar. And then I just have one little baby pumpkin over here just chilling. So that is going to complete the fall home tour. Now we're gonna have some alcohol. Don't tell me that I have a drinking problem just because I like to drink alcohol on the weekends. Who doesn't? I'm an adult. I'm allowed. It's not against the law. So, shh, shh, shh. so now we're gonna make some sangria. And I honestly don't know if it's like a good recipe. I've never made it before, but it sounded really good. And I have all the ingredients now that I went to the store and bought some apples. So let's make some sangria. I'll be honest. I don't like really ever drink sangria normally because I don't know, I don't wanna water down my wine with some juice, so normally I just drink it straight up. <laughs> but I've seen this recipe on Pinterest for years and years and I never have made it, so I wanna make it. So we're making it. So I'm gonna get all the ingredients. We've got apples and cider, apple cider. Please gather your ingredients. <laughs> So the most important ingredient is gonna be wine. This is a Cabernet Sauvignon from South Africa. And South African wines are just really great. <laughs> I have no idea if they are, but this came in my monthly um, wine subscription box. Wink, you guys should definitely join Wink. I'll put my sign up link below, not sponsored, but I would not be opposed to a sponsorship. Anyways, get a red wine preferably a nice dry full bodied wine. So this is that, it's called Chromie. Next up, you need some apple cider. This is the red jacket apple cider. Some cut up apples. These are pre-cut up because nobody has time to chop apples. I don't. Then we have a pear. I thought it would be fun to switch it up. Um, a lot of recipes like called for like oranges and stuff and I just wasn't feeling that. I just didn't seem folly to me, so I got a pair. You need some cinnamon sticks. You can just get these. I don't know why I had these in the fridge. They probably do not need to be refrigerated, but they're nice and cold. And then lastly, cinnamon and sugar. Obviously, you could just mix cinnamon and sugar, but I like to have cinnamon and sugar already mixed on hand anyway, because like this on toast, 
or like anything really is life. So um, cinnamon sugar. Okay, so I moved you guys over here because it was way too dark over there. So I put all the apples in the pitcher. Then I did a really bad job at chopping this pear, but it's okay. We're just gonna put it in there anyways. It doesn't matter. This recipe calls for an entire bottle of wine, so I am going to follow that to a T. Then we're doing two cups of apple cider. So this is not in the recipe, but I saw a lot of the recipes using brandy, but who just has brandy in their house? I don't feel like I know anyone who just drinks like plain brandy. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this maple whiskey because maple is fall, right? Is that a half a cup? No. I don't know if this is a bad idea, but if you're gonna go in, just go all in. I'm gonna put two cinnamon sticks, shove them in there. Then we're gonna stir it up with a wooden spoon because that's what they do on Pinterest. They use a wooden one. So then you wanna put it in the fridge and let it like soak in and like let the flavors marinate, I guess. But I don't know. I don't really feel like waiting for that. <laughs> uh, I want instant results. So I'm gonna sugar my rims and pour a glass because this is not the Food Network. I don't have just, you know, a ready-made batch sitting in my fridge. That is not what's happening here. Oh my God, the smell of cinnamon and sugar. Name a better smell. Name it. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour some of this onto a plate. Is that enough? Hopefully, I don't know. Then I'm just gonna, nope, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I'm just going to wet the rim of my glass with some water and then we're going to rim it up. I mean, how beautiful is that? That is amazing. Oh wait, we want some of the fruit. Fruit? Why did the fruit not get in there? Oh my God, this is not like food not work at all. <laughs> This is not like TV at all, you guys. This is not how it's supposed to be. I mean, this looks legit amazing. Look at that rim. Oh my God, we should have made margaritas. Apple cider margaritas. We're doing that next. But let's try this. Oh my God, this smells so good. This is wicked good. I feel like if you're one of those people who hasn't gotten their grown up taste buds yet and like, you only drink like sweet wine and all that, which is fine, we've all been there. Um, I'm just kidding. If you like sweet wine, drink sweet wine. But I like dry stuff because I'm an old woman. But anyways, this I feel like is good, like a good way to transition into drinking like a dry red wine because it is, you know, juiced up with some apple cider and some whiskey and some cinnamon and sugar and it is so freaking good. So I'm just gonna, you know, chill over here with my mantle. Oh my God, where are my freaking dogs? I was wondering why it's so quiet in here. Um, I'm, I was gonna just stand by the fireplace and drink this, but I need to find my dogs because if they haven't been trying to come inside, then they're probably up to no good. Mama made sangria. <laughs> Rosie. Rosie, mama made sangria. <laughs> I'm gonna drop my camera and then we will all be doomed. I won't be able to make videos and then we'll be poor and I won't be able to give you dog food. So everyone settle. So that's gonna wrap up this vlog. I hope you guys love the decor. Hope you love the sangria. Cheers to that and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, <laughs>